Hi everyone, here we've got Meizu M60 and let me share with you some useful codes which you can use on your device. So firstly, let's open the dialer because this is the place where we will enter all of those codes and let's begin with the shortest one which is asterisk pound 06 pound. And as you can see by this code we are provided with both email numbers and also a mate number attached to this device. Let's tap on OK and let me show you another code which will open the calendar info. It is asterisk pound asterisk pound double two five pound asterisk pound asterisk and as i said we are in a calendar info here we've got all the events in one place we can check some family events some holidays in your country also should be right here or events attached to your mail so as you can see here you've got all the events grouped in a particular uh, <laughs> groups actually so that's all for this code and let me show you another one which will open the phone info it is asterisk pound asterisk pound 4636 pound asterisk pound asterisk and as you can see we are in a testing mode so here we can check the phone info battery information usage statistics and wi-fi info so let me enter first for example the very first one and as you can see we've got uh, info like the email number phone number data service data network type or roaming obviously if you will have your uh, sim card inserted because i do not have then you will um, you'll be able to check all of those things. What's more, we can run ping test right here, just tap on it and here you've got all the info. So let me get back, let me check battery information and as you can see here we can check things like battery status, power plug, battery level, scale, health, voltage, temperature or technology and time since boot. Let me get back. Here we've got also usage statistics. So we, we've got a list of all apps which are uh, installed on this device and we can sort them by the usage time, last time used or app name. So for example, you can check that we've been using settings for almost 20 minutes. Let me get back and let's check Wi-Fi info. Here we can check the API configuration and the status. So let me pick the status, for example. Let's refresh the stats. And as you can see here, we can check, for example, the network state, SSID or network ID. We can run ping test obviously here. And here you've got the results. Let me get a bug because that's all for this code. And let me show you another one, which is asterisk pound, asterisk pound. 426 pound asterisk pound asterisk and as you can see we are in a in a diagnostics uh, they are uh, provided by google and here we can check uh, for example the events server host port time connected and signal level and after tapping on events we can also check the status so here you've got some further details what's more we can show advanced view just tap on this three dots icon tap on advanced view and tap on the status again and as you can see here we can check more info for example the heartbeat the last ping or hp algorithm let me get back and let me show you the last code which will which will open the engineering mode and be aware that before turning it on you have to have your developer options also activated and how to do it we've got the we've got the video about that so let's check how to enable developer options and then let's get back to this video so let me enter the code which is asterisk pound asterisk pound three six four double six double three pound asterisk pound asterisk and as I said, we are in an engineering mode. Here we've got some advanced options, for example, the band mode, the same uh, recovery test tool, BIP, uh, modem test, network selecting, network info, fast dormancy, uh, world mode. As you can see, quite a lot of options. Here we've got the tef telephony, here we've got also the connectivity. So here we can check the Bluetooth, Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi display. What's more, we've got the hardware testing, audio, non-sleep mode, sensor, uh, sensor hub test uh, or video and the location also. Here we can check the location, log and debugging and others for example usb uh, options right here or thermal so well actually that's all this is how to use secret codes in your meizu m16 thank you so much for watching i hope that this video was helpful and if it was please hit the subscribe button and leave the thumbs up